On the edge of real and cyberspace, there is one place you can go, and you found it. Good morning. Welcome to Nightwise.com, the one and only podcast with hacks, tips, and tweaks for cross-platform geeks. My name's Nightwise, and uh, this is the daily video blog. So, good morning. Um, on my way to work, driving, paying attention to the road as usual, but I decided to uh, do a little video blog today about uh, one of the things that I've been pondering a little bit, which is... Um, social media social media communities to be exact Um, I've been doing nightwise.com for for quite a while and one of the things I've always had a hard time with was uh, maintaining and building and maintaining a community time being one thing because uh, it you know interacting with your community takes a lot of time but also location Um, I have had um, Things start out on Twitter, then we kind of moved to Facebook, then we kind of moved to Google Plus, and then we kind of were all over the place. Um, and maintaining a community that's all over the place and trying to get your content out there is not really easy. Um, I've had <clears throat> a lot of hours wasted by trying to write scripts that would cross post all of my things to all of my different networks and and stuff like that Um, but in the end it's it's really hard to do Um, when you take a look at where a majority of 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 the the nightwise.com community resides at the moment is the google plus group which is nice Um, and there are a lot of people there but aside from from those hardcore geeks Google Plus is kind of dead. Uh, shh, don't tell anyone. But it's true. I mean, there's there's nothing on there uh, aside from, you know, those those geeky uh, people, which I love. But it's not really a vibrant social platform, and it's getting spammed. Then you have Facebook, which is kind of for the norms, and nobody with any geeky attitude and will probably admit to being on Facebook. Everybody who's, who's a you know, really hard geek goes like, no, I'm not on Facebook, I don't do Facebook. No, Facebook, I don't do Facebook. I do, I do Google+, Plus. there's nobody on there, but I do Google+, Plus. but I don't do Facebook. And it's okay, it's like I don't watch an episode of Honey Boo Boo or, or whatever, that's your prerogative. But it's like they're not on Facebook or they say they're not on Facebook because it's not popular to be on Facebook when you hang with the cool kids on Google+. Plus. Talk with people on Facebook, they go like, Google+, Plus, come on, there's nobody there, it's for a bunch of, a bunch of nerds and it's dead. And then you have Twitter, which is a really hard platform to actually do a discussion on something and post content because it's so fleeting. Twitter to me is more like a news feed than anything else. I don't I don't see I don't see a lot of that. And then you've got, you know, Instagram and, and Snapchat and WhatsApp and and, and I don't know. Uh, so many social media platforms and it's really hard to maintain. <clears throat> I've been using um, Google Plus for a while, and I, uh, although I love the community that it's that's there, don't get me wrong, I absolutely hate the platform. I think it's cumbersome. I think it's not intuitive. I think it's noisy, um, and I think it's 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 just it's just not just doesn't have the flow. I might say the same about Facebook. Not you know, uh, not saying anything there. But the one thing that annoys me about some of these social media platforms, or, well, and that annoys me, that kind of, you know, rings my bell, uh, tickles my bubble, I don't know what the, what the expression is, that, that kind of rattles my cage is that you need to subscribe or identify yourself as a person. And because you are identified as a person and you are logged in, every page that you visit is tracked and there is a data profile being built around you. Okay. But do we have to do that? 
I had, I, I'm fortunate enough that I was early enough in, in Google Plus that they never ever asked any questions about my so-called real name. Hold on. Um, one of the things that uh, that happened only I don't know a year or so after Google Plus started is suddenly that people you know uh, were asked, no, no, that name is not your real name. You give us your real name. Because they wanted to, to battle spammers and they thought if we take away anonymity that will that will help. Well, it doesn't. Uh, people are vile and uh, mean no matter if you give them a nickname and, uh, or let them hide behind, behind an anonymous handle or ask them for the real name. I mean, I see people post things on Facebook that I think like, oh my God, you kiss your mother with that mouth? Or, or do you actually spout those those opinions in public you wouldn't say this in a bar you wouldn't say this you know on the street are you saying this on social media about people Jesus so that anonymity doesn't actually work to block spammers and trolls but it does for my opinion um, take away a layer of privacy that we are all entitled to so I was wondering, let's, you know, rethink the whole community thing and what if I were to move everything to Reddit? Hold on, I'm going to move into traffic here. And uh, what if we move everything to Reddit? Because Reddit is quite easily accessible. You can build a, uh, a subreddit. I think we have one. Uh, you can post whatever you want, uh, whatever kind of media you want, and um, you can reply. You can set up a discussion via per topic. It's accessible from any uh, system, and you don't actually need an account to watch it you know with with Facebook and Google and stuff like that you need an account otherwise you cannot watch the content now with reddit you don't need an account you need an account if you want to participate but you don't need an account if you want to um, just read it so were we to move the community to reddit Everybody would be able to see the posts and people who wanted to could communicate and could participate in the communication anonymously. It's just a thought that I'm playing with because it kind of levels out the playing field that uh, you still have privacy, you still have anonymity, and you still have um, access whether or not you've got an account. I am very curious as to what your response is to this might be.